spires of the city. But who gets to work behind their doors? Today, the government's social mobility czar said the system is rigged in favour of people with a privileged background, those who pass the posh test. A senior city figure I spoke to said in reality those people with a posh background are just that bit better at persuading you to give them a job in the first place. With so much talent out there, big companies have to make sure they work that much harder to ensure they're not just hiring people in their own image. The report says at top law firms, 40% of graduate trainees were educated at fee-paying schools, while at leading accountants, 70% of graduate jobs go to students from either fee-paying schools or selective state schools. PwC takes on 1,500 young people every year, making them Britain's biggest graduate employer. With accountancy firms most in the spotlight with this report, they know they have to make a lot of changes. I think there is more we could do to actively try and look for more inclusion, you know, you know, more variety in who we're recruiting, and that takes effort. This is hard, this is a societal issue that children from certain backgrounds get kind of do better at school. So you don't think it's the fault of the city, because in this report it suggests that city firms are doing particularly badly, and especially accountancy firms. I mean, 70% well, I of the intake went to private schools? Well, in our intake, about 30% went to private schools. So, I mean, it's, it, I mean that's, it's a wide report. I think it's really helpful to have it in the debate. There is always more we can do. Do you know how many people here, how many of the partners went to private school? I don't know that. We don't track it. We don't track what school they went to or what university we went to, because that's not what we target. Whether the city is worse than other parts of the economy is unclear, but with growing concern about the levels of inequality in the UK, this report strikes a nerve and exposes the slow progress made by companies so far. If any building represents the city's wealth, it's the Shard. Under its shadow is the Globe Academy, one road yet one world away on this South London estate where these students have high aspirations. I would like to go to Anglia Ruskin University and then from there I will study gynaecology. I want to get involved with the stock market trading. I'd like to have a degree in medicine so that I'll be able to be a surgeon. At the end of the day this game is about chances. Today's report on social mobility says the odds of success are stacked against them but at this school they are overcoming the cards they've been dealt. We go to the universities, top Russell Group universities and top business places and see how they do things there. And of course the environment is very different. Um, there's a lot of middle class and above people that go to such universities, but we're taught how to adapt to how they behave. What's interesting, if you look at independent schools succession into top universities or any university, it's around about 98%. Now, locally for us, we're way under 10% of students accessing those uh, careers in those universities. So we just got to make sure that we give them the same chances, the same opportunities that any child has at a great independent school in the country. Suited and booted, the six formers here are applying to university and relish the chance to fight the stereotypes that conspire against them. If you look at trivial things such as um, accents or the way you speak, I think you'll never really get to the core of who a person is and so it would be much harder for one person to move into another class just based on certain stereotypes. Um, loads of people will tell you to do this or be like this because that's how you're going to get to where you want to be. That's how you want to improve and that's how you want to succeed. But I think the most important um, advice for anyone is in a world where you can really be anything, you should just really be yourself.